And Bri, I want to take you back about 24 hours. This is yesterday morning in Lamar. Look at this insane wind that we saw across the eastern plains. This photo provided by James Farmer. When you get wind gusts like that up above 60, you're going to get blowing dust. You're going to get blowing sand. You're going to get some difficult driving conditions and low visibility. And that's exactly what we saw. That's why we warned people with that high wind warning yesterday in our eastern counties. And that did, in fact, verify. That's when gusts are at or above. 60 miles per hour. Look at some of the stronger gusts in Springfield, 67 mile per hour gusts reported. Lamar saw a gust at about 63 miles per hour. And we're not done with the wind and the high fire danger threats today. Now, the wind won't be as strong in our eastern counties, but Closer to I-25, the San Luis Valley could see some occasional gust up near 50. Probably most of us in the ballpark of 35 to 40 with another red flag warning in effect today from noon until 9 p.m. And here's what the model shows this afternoon. Again, not nearly as strong, but you can still see some gust up around 40 with some of these sensors that the model data pulls from. Gust up around 30 to maybe 40 here in the Pikes Peak region with some stronger gusts up towards the Pikes Peak Summit. All right, here's a look at those current temperatures this morning morning. It's fairly mild, up near 50 degrees in Denver and Canyon City, 32 in Woodland Park, 45 in Monument, 38 in Pueblo. Seeing a few clouds up across northern parts of the state as we have a weather system that we're tracking that's going to spread some of that cloud cover south today. Overall, though, we'll call for a warm mix of sun and clouds, so we'll call it partly cloudy. It's going to be windy, and it's going to be about 5 to 8 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday. Now, notice that rain that moves into Nebraska by this evening. That's associated with our next cold front. It's mostly going to be a dry cold front, but maybe a spot shower or two reaching southern Colorado late tonight into tomorrow morning. All right, check out the hour-by-hour -hour forecast. The approaching front will bring a few clouds to our forecast today, so not a completely blue sky, but Overall, pretty nice and comfortable temperature wise by the lunch hour into the low 70s in Pueblo and by mid afternoon will be as warm as 82 in the Steel City. About 75 degrees the forecast today in Colorado Springs, 78 in Kangan City, upper 60s in Denver and Monument. All right, take a look at that super seven day forecast behind the front. We're going to drop our high about 20 to 25 degrees on Thursday and it's going to turn mostly cloudy. Then on Friday, I think we start out with sunshine early, but we will see an increase in clouds and a shower or thunderstorm by the afternoon to evening likely changes over to snow briefly into the overnight hours with more rain and snow showers expected on Saturday. Look at the transition though from that 50 Saturday back up to the upper 60s by Sunday for Pueblo. Some active weather following today's windy and warm afternoon will be in the 50s on Thursday and Saturday and then back up to the 70s from Sunday into early next week. Canyon City, a pretty typical April spring like forecast here, right? 70s today, 50s on Thursday, a thunderstorm possible on Friday, and then some showery cool weather on Saturday for Woodland Park. A weak chance of a shower, rain or snow on Thursday, and then we get that rain snow mix developing Friday afternoon to Friday night. Some snow showers Saturday, followed by snowmelt sunshine and a high of 60 on Sunday.